Morning Soap Indie Heat Video Magazine. You already know what's going down. It's official. I'm going to the J spot. Check out Derek J. Let's see what he got going on with this Hawthorne premiere screening. Well, it's the, I think it's the premiere debut of Hawthorne season premiere, you know, with Jada Pickett Smith, you know. Um, but we're going to check it out. 135th Street A to C is going down. It's official. Like a referee whistle, like I said before. We'll be there in just a minute. I'll let your boy keep it so. ATL, you figured, tell me. Yeah. So in the heat video magazine is going down. I'm in location in the J spot, you know what I'm saying? Sitting in the chair. Now I ain't about to get my hair braided up or nothing like that right now, you know what I'm saying? Yo, L Boogie, you know, I, you know, get my hair dressing on, but yo, we out here chilling, cold max and relaxing before the party gets started. Everybody's starting to come in right now. And um, then we're gonna watch the premiere of Hawthorne. It's going down, man. So holla at your boy, keep it so ATL, you figure deal me, yeah. Chilling with the Remy, you know what I'm saying? That's how we get down out here. But you know, soap don't drink, but I'm gonna buy the bar for you. I'll let your boy, man. I got the drink for everybody out here, so this is how Indy Heat do it. You know what I mean? Derry J, what's up? J Spot is going down. You digital, totally digital. Yeah. What's up, you guys? This is Derek J. You rocking with Indy Heat Magazine, and you're at my salon, the J Spot salon, for the preview of the third season of Hawthorne. Hi, I'm Crystal here at the J Spot here in Atlanta and supporting Hawthorne. It's my favorite show and I love, love, love Jada Pinkett. Hi, my name is Rachel and I'm at the J-Spot tonight supporting Hawthorne. I just saw Jada Pinkett on The View. She was amazing. I'm really excited about the new season, especially after I saw that clip. All right. My name is Lacey Cameron and I am here at the J-Spot Salon celebrating the season three premiere of Hearthorn. We're having our watch party here in Atlanta and we are so excited to see the show. We love Jada Pinkett. We love Hearthorn. I love that it's a drama about um, the nursing and the whole hospital scene. It definitely keeps you on your toes. I'm excited about the wedding and to see what it brings. I'm excited about the whole season and TNT, they do no drama and so I'm excited to see what they're going to bring. Yay! Go Jada! Smith. 
shows or uh, various TV shows, do you feel that based upon what you saw in the first episode, Jada is representing the African American young women correctly? Why or why not, whether yay or nay? Um, I definitely think she's representing the African American women correctly because her character is so strong and she's so strong minded and strong willed and you you saw that in the first episode so that kind of you know portrays a positive image for young women like you can you know be anything you want to be you know she's a head nurse and she's doing her thing so that's awesome. someone we haven't heard from carmela <laughs> Um, I think she is doing a beautiful job. Um, I think she's going to be that to see a lot of her strength and so good for me. This is like you can tell her all over the place and she did it the show. This is actually my first time actually sitting through an entire episode and it, it's actually heavy when you see the watch. Did you get it? Well? You got one over here. I would really like to know what was her motivation behind doing this particular piece. If she had some issues personally, mm -hmm. um, there were some things that I I, I, I see like as a whole um, when it comes to African American women, 
you know, I'm looking at it and I'm like, well, why can't she be the happy one? She just got married, she just had a wedding. Why can't she keep her baby? Mm -hmm. I think there's a sense of um, false perception with our strength. I believe, yes, we are a strong woman. That's the way God created us. However, that doesn't mean we don't cry. That doesn't mean we're not vulnerable. And when the society sees us as being so strong, they think, oh, we don't need. You know, I think our African-American men think we don't need them. We need them more than ever. And so I just think, you know, they got to see the, the volumes of who we are as a woman. We are multifaceted in every area of our lives, from A through Z. And yes, we we can get through a lot of things because we've had to endure a lot in history, but that doesn't make us less of a woman. That doesn't make us less desiring of love, relationships, uh, family, and, and unity. What's up? Anyone else? Anyone dislike the show? You can be honest. appreciate you all for coming and we have some gift bags to show our appreciation um, we hope that you continuously support Hawthorne as well as the J Spy hair salon uh-huh ladies if you want your hair done definitely come book an appointment um, you'll open Tuesday through Tuesday through Saturday okay so if you pay the right amount of money we'll be here on Sunday and Monday too <laughs> we, don't, we don't turn out no <laughs> well Justin passes out the good, the gift bags. You're more than welcome to mingle and get some more food, um, take some photos, and we appreciate you all for coming. Yes, thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Yeah, 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 it's going down. You already know. About to leave the J spot. Yep, you know how I do. Got my little uh, gift bag. Thank y'all, Jada, Will. I uh, appreciate the uh, gifts. Um, as far as the show goes, I can say the show was it was a it was a good show. It was action packed, drama. But the only thing, and this is from In the Heat, man, I, I thought it was kind of I seen some subliminal racial things in it. But you know what I'm saying I'm gonna just leave that up. I'm gonna leave that alone, y'all. Y'all probably already know what it is already if y'all actually looked at your own show. Um, but other than that, it was a great show. Um, we just got to kill some of that stuff that's up in there. I mean, I, that I seen. You know what I mean? I'm on Wake Brother, so you know what I mean. All right, Jay, 135th Street, South Tulsa. You know how we do it. Your boy Soap. It's going down. Digital. You know, official like a referee whistle. You know, I got your back. Got my back. Donna Coleon. Make sure you check out her show every Monday through Friday. 12 to 2, um, 12 to 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, check out her show. And uh, check Indie Heat out every Wednesday at 8.30. New episode. Load it up. You know how we do it. IndieHeat.com. Can I say no more? Keep it so ATL, y'all. Peace.